What's up, Scorpio? This is your week ahead. Soul here. Uh, July 17th through the 23rd, 2017. The messages will also be for Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising. All right, Scorpio, I hope all is well. For some of you I'm about to read for, it seems like it might be a pretty good week. Uh, so let's just see what happens here, all right? General reading, so please just keep everything simple. Uh, but for some Scorpios, something happens possibly this upcoming week. This could be a relationship. This could be almost anything. This is the nine of water, nine of cups. In the upright position, that's uh, some sort of, you know, hopes, wishes, and dreams uh, being fulfilled. Uh, I equate this card with the star card. Dreams, wishes being, uh, you know, coming true. When it comes to nine of water, it could be that relationship. It's the yes answer to any romantic question that you may have concerning another person. Uh, nine of water, nine of cups represents children. So there might be, you know, some sort of uh, energy surrounding children of Scorpio uh, that brings in some sort of emotional fulfillment. This could be the children themselves. Um but this is your energy for the overall week. Something something may occur that brings on the Nine of Cups energy, okay? Someone wishing for something, uh, and it comes to them. Wow. Okay, that's great. Nine of Cups also represents Cancer, Pisces. In the upright position... When it comes to love and relationship, maybe there's someone who I'm reading for already has started a relationship because see now the moon card, which is uh, in the past position, but it's still part of your energy for this week is in the reverse. So that moon, that bright moon represents Pisces for me. So maybe there was a water sign Pisces that or cans or Scorpio entered a relationship or started dating someone who's a Pisces in the reverse. This is a completion of that energy. I'm just specifically feeling a relationship or someone um, wishes or hopes of a relationship with someone and that could be another water sign. It could be any zodiac sign, of course. Also in the past position, there's a Scorpio or two that I'm reading for getting over the blues or some sort of depression. Also, there's, you know, the moon always represents secrets being revealed in the reverse position. That means that something happened back here. Somebody learned a secret about um, someone or someone learned a secret about you. Also, per uh, personal reputation, whatever that reputation is for you as well and then in the past position yeah see someone started a relationship see because that's the, in the past here that would be a start of a new phase this is like a completion of an uh you know an old phase now a new phase is about to begin for any of you who hadn't started a relationship or started dating this is like okay there's a phase that's about to begin it's the shifting of energy where Someone is either with the Nine of Cups showing up, hoping, wishing that something, some aspect of your life, some phase of your life has come into an end or will be coming to an end. That's the indication of that. All right. Then it's the Two of Swords in the reverse position. So I like the Two of Air or Swords in the reverse position because it's an indication of a choice between two now this could be almost anything now this could you know of course be a relationship two of air represents gemini libra aquarius so it could have been exchanges with those energies but it, it doesn't necessarily have to be um just keep in mind it's it's feeling conflicted and having to pick or choose something okay number two could represent another person it could have been you know two jobs in the reverse, that means you're no longer feeling conflicted, feeling that little stress associated with having to pick and choose. Now, keep in mind, this is midweek, but I feel that it's, you know, definitely accompanying or at least complementing the Nine of Cups and the Moon card that's in the reverse. Yeah, someone here getting over depression. Maybe someone's happy about not feeling sad anymore, and it may be relationship oriented. So it could be so many things. Friday going into the weekend, though, Scorpio, you have the Eight of Fire in the reverse, and you know this is still good energy. Okay, this is still good energy. 
I relate the Eight of Wands with arrival of news, sometimes surprises, and you know, you know, partial packages. If you are someone who does, you know, online shopping or whatever. Now, if that's the case, then the Eight of Revert, uh, excuse me, the Eight of Fire or Eight of Wands in the reverse. That means that package is still coming, but there's a delay. Okay, so you may not get it when you were hoping that you were going to get it now don't get the hope confused with the nine of cups okay it still might come it just not going to come when you thought that you were going to get it if it's you know related to packages also too with the eight of uh, fire keep in mind um that there might be some sort of um either miscommunication with another person see this is the communication card for me okay Things traveling fast, news coming fast, surprises coming fast. All of those things are still coming, Scorpio. But in the reverse, that means it's just going to be temporarily de delayed. Now, I also want to put in there that the delay is going to be very, very short term or temporary because you have to think of the wands as speedy movement. OK, and that's what I'm getting. So it may not be something that you're hoping for, wishing for to come on Friday, but it might come on the weekend. Uh, but whatever it is, it's still forthcoming. Eight of Fire represents Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. That could be um, a relationship with those energies. Okay. Someone's getting over a phase with a fire sign because the moon card mirrors the eight of wands some sort of phase is ended with a fire sign all right all right scorpio this is your reading i hope it's helpful and beneficial as always don't forget to look at your moon sign and your rising signs for additional information um i want to send out a lot of love and light to you guys uh plus safety emphasizing safety as always and scorpio until i talk to you again please be well. Bye.